Now, let's summarise what happened. You fell into a coma for 16 minutes and 30 seconds yesterday due to external impact. Then you woke up and found yourself fine. That's right! On that night, you felt an unusual burn coming up to your throat from your stomach. At the same time, you had weird illusions. And at last, you vomited a ball of fire. Yes, that's right, exactly! For one last time, are you sure no one in your family is related to the Red Dragon? 100% positive. I checked all the family photos and medical records and even rang Mum and Dad. They denied every possibility of it. The symptom is really rare to see. I know, so... Don't walk away on me. Are you really buying that? I don't doubt it. Then you're a fool, no nut. Would have lost all your clothes to any rotter that comes up to you if you wandered long enough on the streets. And you, I'm warning you, take your little claws off me. Let me go now. Hey, you were the one who burst out of nowhere and knocked me over. Now my brain's not working right and you're responsible for it. Yeah? You mean this smidge of zombie fire? You reckon this is the first time an arcanist sees it? Can get you 20 of these in two days in any workshop. You gotta try harder if you wanna fool me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not a liar. I saw that ball of fire come out of my mouth. You frauds never stop coming up with new scams. No cheat, no eat. Heard that before? Go home with your fake fire. If you continue doing this, be careful of the bunyips. They will crawl into your house through the sewerage and take your tongue because lies are their favourite food. But there is no evidence to prove that she is telling a lie. Evidence? I have more than enough evidence to prove she's not some innocent lamb. She climbed up the tree outside my window and was shouting and screaming there in the middle of the night. The moment I went outside, she took me here like she was carrying a bag of groceries. One may infer that she was shocked by the fire vomiting and thus displayed abnormal behaviours. My God, don't you have adults at home to put some senses in your head? Haven't they taught you not to trust the stranger's words? Especially if they show up at late hours? The stranger? I know something's wrong with my head and I'm not even sure who I really am anymore. But you shouldn't have forgotten me. We're neighbours, Desert Flannel. I live three streets away. I even said hello to you. Three streets away? How does it make us neighbours? And I don't think our litter-covered street is part of your fancy community, where people sit by the white fountains and walk in the street gardens. The last time I checked, I was not from some rich immigrant family. No matter what you're looking for, for money or for fun, I couldn't care less about it. The only thing I care about is that my landlord will kick me out if I fail to pay rent this month. So let me go! You must not leave! <gasps> oh! I think I just nicked you in the teeth. You must not leave! At least, not before I figure out what happened to me. In my mind now. Sometimes the past, sometimes the present. 
I remember I can sing, but soon I forget how to do that. I remember the crowd who worshipped me on their knees. They're running somewhere like the Uluru Stadium. And something hot. A hot bonfire? I is that a bonfire? Anyway, no matter what it is, I'm just an ordinary person like anyone else living at the end of the century. This thing shouldn't be in my mind. There must be something wrong with me. With my head or other parts. I can't just go nuts now. My training plan... It's... It's all ruined. I even have a game to play at the end of the year. Relax. The symptoms may not last. Sensing omens doesn't always mean danger to arcanists. Given the complexity of the situation, I think you need a more detailed physical examination to find the crux. We will help you and take care of you. Until you completely recover, or say, become completely normal again. You... Thank goodness. At least I can count on you. Both my mum and dad aren't home right now. I'm on my own. It's all over for me if the condition gets worse. At least, that's how it goes in the TV. Don't jump to the worst conclusion yet. Follow me. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. What are you staring at? She's having a body checkup. Do I have to tag along? You're going to sneak away for those part time jobs, aren't you? Fine, genius. You win. Mm. Oi! You're with the suitcase. Do you know how I can get a job here? Looks like they pay their employees well. 